Guys, what's happening? Um, so this is not the store. This is my truck. And we thought we'd try something new. So we're going to get coffee. Me and TJ, we do it all the time. Um, that's not exciting at all. But today we have a special guest. We have Eric from Minel. So sure. Eric is our Minel sales rep. Um, good dude, our buddy. Um, Liz, where do you live at? I'm out in Nashville now. Okay, so he's in Nashville where Minel is headquartered. Yep. Okay. Um, have you always lived there? No, I'm from Brooklyn originally. Okay. So I moved down a few months ago, and I'm happy for it. Okay, so it's going good there. Yeah. So you moved to Nashville for Minel. Yeah. Nice. Um, those guys got to be happy about that. I think so. <laughs> but, you know, there's still time to prove it or break it, you know? It's time for it to go wrong. Um, TJ, you're filming back there. You got anything for Eric? Uh, what got you into music? My dad, really, going back. He's always playing Beatles records, you know, Rolling Stones growing up. And he was always saying if he could play music, he would play, but he didn't have an ear and he couldn't carry a tune. So I kind of came up playing piano. I did a bunch of lessons for like four to eight, four to 12, just about. And it turns out I did have a musical ear. <laughs> and so that was fun. I started playing with my best friends in our garage in Brooklyn. So your dad does, he doesn't play anything? No, he can't play a thing. Okay. But he's good at playing like records. Yeah, absolutely. He can um, spin them. What kind of music do you currently listen to? So I like to think that I'm from the jam scene. I love, you know, psychedelic rock, but I try to listen to everything. I've been getting into a lot of country now that I'm in Nashville. Okay. And Sounds that's a lot right. of fun. That Hank Williams, that Towns Van Zandt. Okay, so, so the old stuff. The old stuff. Okay. Yeah, no, not pop country. Funny enough, I was just listening to some Randy Travis last night. Nice. <laughs> I just saw a uh, um, reel of Randy Travis flying on an airplane on a side note. Was it the one where like he was laughing at the stewardess? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. I saw that same one yes. last night. Oh, my algorithm's off, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, don't, no, your your phone's listening, so it'll be on the uh, next time. Yeah, show. Pop up. Yep. Um, so you're in Nashville. You're getting into the good country music. Um do, you, do a, you go out in Nashville? Like, do you do the, like, whole, like, Nashville country bar thing? I mean, you kind of have to, but I try to avoid it. Like, friends come from out of town. You got to go to Broadway. You're, you're obligated to take yeah. them down there. But, quite frankly, it's like I never left you left New York. Like, it's so overcrowded. It's shoulder to shoulder. It's like I'm in Times Square, and I'm sick of that. Um, if you had to pick a favorite bar on Broadway, what would it be? On Broadway... You know, Tootsie's has been fun. It's legendary. Had, yeah. Had some good experiences there. Um, the stage is all right. I quite, I quite like the stage. But it has to be the right band up there. And, you know, everything else is hit or miss. It's all on the bands, really. Um, so, you're a sales rep. We've established that. Yeah. Um, you don't just come to see Hubbard music. You go all over. Um, no, these I people are come for you guys. Well, of that. course. But when you're not coming to see us, what's what's your territory? Like, how big of an area do you cover? So I work the Midwest, and that's going to be North Dakota down to Kansas, and then Kansas all the way across to Ohio. So that includes Kentucky, that includes Wisconsin, that's everything in between. Thirteen states. Um, and of course, we know who your favorite music store is, yeah. or at least your favorite and Hubbard. There's more than one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, no, y'all are easily number one. So, Man, oh, oh, top three. Yeah, just say top three because if some other like store sees this, you oh, don't want. You, yeah, you don't want that. It's you, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want that. But they're also not taking me on coffee runs. That's true. So. Very, very true. Um, so you'll be on coffee runs for all your visits from here on out with no, all your no, deals because no, I'll be yeah. jealous. Um, mine wise, uh, so. Um, very cool brand, very cool line, uh, cool guys who work there, um, really friendly, good people. What's new with Minel or what do people know about Minel? Well, stronger and stronger every year. And at this point, I think Minel's becoming household of a name in musician households. Whereas if you got percussion needs, everything's really covered. That catalog is huge. 
Like, have you seen the catalog how many years now? Oh, yeah, it's... It's just bigger and yeah. bigger. It's impossible to kind of wrap your head around it. It's two. There's two catalogs. Yes, then there's the symbol catalog. Right. It's also expanding every year. Right. And so, I think the big new thing that's coming out is these low-volume practice symbols. And so, I mean, Zildjian dropped them many years ago. So, the symbols with the holes. The out, holes. So, like, yeah. lower volume for practice. Exactly. Okay. But when they first came out, they weren't so good. You hit them a few no. times, they break. And now, we're in the game on that, and I think they're pretty good. I actually lined up Stag, Evan, Zildjian, Lionel. And I'm very impressed with what we put out. So, I'd say that's worth checking out. Okay. Um, any other products of interest? What um, What about your sticks? How's, so the, sticks, how's the stick thing doing? Honestly, you got to feel them to, you know, appreciate them. Because they're good sticks. You know, everyone knows Vic Firth, everyone knows Promark. But Michael's got sticks. And quite frankly, they're still $10.99. That's still what a deal. We don't typically talk price, um, but he's right. Like, sticks are going through the roof. So, like... Uh, find a good stick that's affordable i mean can't beat that we got five a's five b's we got your any we got your uh seven a's seven b's we got them long we got them short we got them thick we got them heavy and then there there's also some like unique like uh brushes mallets yep. stuff like that the hot rods um tj you got something else for us back there or are you just waiting for coffee i'm just waiting for the coffee it's early. <laughs> um, Do you have a favorite symbol? I would say, yeah, the Equilibrium Ride. The Matt Garski Equilibrium. That thing sounds amazing. Um, TJ, you play their stuff. What's your favorite? Oh, God. That's a hard one. All right, this is live, so if this is wrong, I'm sorry. But you have, don't you have a sand ride? I do. Okay. That's great. And I thought, do really thoughts like the, on the sand ride? I do really like the sand ride. Um, I'm also using the, uh, what is it? I think it's either, I think it's a 22 inch medium ride, just the regular Byzance. Um, which which for what I'm yeah. currently doing is perfect for. Nice. So, um, the, oh, what is it? The extra dry duels um, is also one of my favorites. That's the ride? No, just the just the crash, the 18 crash. Solid. Um, I have that on... I have that on my left right now. Okay. So... You're crashing all around. Yeah. So, we just pulled in to get coffee. Um, if you could tell people one reason why they should try Minel Symbols, what would it be? There's a few reasons, but the best one is these products are going to make you happy. And... Furthermore, any problems, we'll make sure to fix them. That's very true. These guys got you covered. Like you break the symbol, you got any issues, these guys will take care of you guys. Warranty. Can't beat that. Hey, we're going to get coffee. We're out of here. Hope you enjoyed this. Check out Minel Symbols, Percussion, all the stuff they got. Great, great stuff. Coffee time. Thank you, Ralph.